Look at that. Wow. Look at that. They're coming back up on him. They're coming back up on him. Bring him over. Oh! oh. All right guys, so we just made it out to the edge here. It's blowing about 10 knots, but it's coming out of the northwest, so it's not too bad right now. Just good enough to bring the bay boat out here. Probably about six miles offshore right now, and we're just gonna start putting out everything we have. We have some deep diving plugs with some wire, in case a wahoo, barracuda, kingfish comes by, and then, you know, you got your just good old dolphin chugger right there, just in case one of those comes by, but we're just going to start putting everything out, troll this entire edge, zigzag from about 100 to 250. Let's see what we can catch. I think you got something on there. Let's hope. Let's say a little tuna. All right guys, so we've been trolling this edge here for I'd say about 45 minutes, just getting absolutely destroyed by these little two, three footers out here. Oh yeah, We're I feel right it now. There he is, it's a bonita! Bonita, sweet. Check that out. I think we're actually gonna keep that. We'll use that as some bait later on maybe. All right, but hey, let's do it. First fish of the day, good job. All right guys, so trolling didn't work out the way we wanted it to, but that's kind of what you can always expect. I mean, you always got to come out here prepared with absolutely everything. So luckily we brought some chum with us. We're going to just catch ballyhoo the same way that we always do. You know, the artificials and the plugs, they just don't seem to be working. So just to give you guys a little bit of insight, we are in 20 feet of water just right on the inside edge here in the Keys. We're in Tavernier. Um, the coordinates this, are 25 by 50. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> but anyway, so from right here, it'll drop right off to 100 feet. So we're just on a little patch reef and we're just gonna start doing some hoop net poles. And then we're gonna go fishing. a massive barracuda Ooh. that has no idea that it's even hooked. This is a huge barracuda. <laughs> Put some of those muscles Luckily we're use. using circle hooks on these fish because if not he'll break that line because they have razor sharp teeth. We'll show you here in a second. <laughs> He's taking off. There he That's is. That's a big one too. That, that is a is. massive barracuda. So it's definitely a cool morning here down in the Florida Keys. Perfect time to test out our brand new Avail hoodies. These should be in stock real soon. 
that thing is absolutely massive. Oh Lord. <laughs> Look at the size of that barracuda. Some people like eating barracuda. Me personally, I'd rather eat something a little tastier. But talk about just an absolute massive fish. And you can come out here on the edge of the reef and they're typically pretty easy to catch this time of year. But cool, man. This one's feisty right here. Oh yeah. Put the heat on him, girl, get him. I don't want to lose him, he's pulling down. So what we're doing here, guys, I mean, it's very, very similar to the last video, just slow trolling the edge. We have very different conditions um, versus the last video. The last video, we kind of had like an easterly wind. Right now, we have a northwest wind. We had a little cold front. So what that does is, you know, once that water's pulling down, the edge of the reef just starts filling up with bait. And all these fish, sailfish, uh, dolphin, tuna, barracudas, mutton snapper, they all come out here. Well, not come out here, but they'll congregate around all of these big showering bait schools. And um, that's really what we're targeting today. We're looking for those showering bait schools and um, we're just trying to fish the outsides of them is. to hopefully catch He's every like down, species man. that I just described. <gasps> oh my God, look at the shark! Oh my God, there's it, a just... massive shark on the cuda. Oh, oh look at that, look at that. Look the at shark's that. on the cuda. That is insane. It killed him. It's... Oh my. my. Gosh. gosh, look at that. Look at this. That come shark off. just came He's... up and destroyed that barracuda. Look at it squirting blood. Look, 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 oh my lord. There's two of them, two sharks. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that, god. look at that. They're coming back up on him. They're coming back up on him. Bring him over. Oh! oh. Look oh. at that. He just popped it. That's... That is insane. <laughs> Listen, hey. you guys wanted a show, we brought it to you. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. That is sick. That is, but you don't want to fall in right now. <laughs> it's a, something just came and absolutely hammered Stephanie's bait. I thought she had bottom and she was like, no, 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 I got something on here. Come on, girl, get him. Get him up. Listen. We're listening. It's just reeling. There's that leader. So he's up there. What, what is, is it? it? What is it? It's big. Oh, it looks like a shark. Yeah, it's a shark. No, 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 that's a cobia. Cobia. Oh my God. Cobia. No way. Kobe in the oh boat, baby! Oh my god! Woo -hoo. That's right, that's the first cobia we've ever caught, period. I know. That is sick. I'm so glad we filmed it was, that. It was super cool that I was like, wait, what is that? Yeah, I, I thought it was a grouper. Yeah, at first, and then I was like, it's long, is it a shark? <laughs> and um, hey, we were surprised with something even better. That's Kobe. right. I hope you're ready to cook. Oh, I'm ready. Because Kobe is on the menu, baby. All right, I'm no marine biologist, but I'm pretty sure we just came up on a group of dolphins that are mating. I had to get the drone out and film this. This is pretty cool.
So as you guys saw in those dolphin shots, I mean, this water is just so clear, so blue right now. And I have some dive gear in the boat. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump in real quick and just see what's down there. But one thing I know for sure is I'm bringing a GoPro down because I gotta show you guys. It is absolutely beautiful here in the Florida Keys. We have some of the prettiest bottom in the entire world. We have a cobia. I decided to clean the cobia just because we've never cleaned one here on Life by the Bow. And this is actually the first cobia that we've ever caught before. So super exciting. I've heard they're really good to eat. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off the head and then we're gonna start filleting him. Not a good day to be a cobia. And now at this point, I would just imagine that cleaning this fish would be the same exact way as a dolphin, you know, a snook, any type of fish that has a long body. So I'm just going to start right up top here along his dorsal and just cut down his entire body. I'll tell you what, we are going to be eating good. Check that out. Look at how beautiful that filet looks. Yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this filet in half. And the reason why is because I have a small knife here and this filet is just too big in order for me to remove the skin with a small knife. Just real nice and easy, back and forth and pushing in a motion this way. Boom. That is only a quarter of the meat too. Amazing. You get that much meat off of that fish. But you know what time it is. It's time to go upstairs. Time to get Stephanie cooking. Let's go. Good afternoon. What a day, what a day. So we just caught our first cobia. So this is super exciting for me because I've never cooked this fish before. Um, and since it's so early in the afternoon, we're just gonna make a quick appetizer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make a crispy lemon pepper bite. So I'm gonna fry the fish and it's gonna call for a great appetizer. So let's get started. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my pieces of fish, dip them in this mixture, it's butter and lemon juice, then I'm going to bread it, put it on the pan, stick it in the oven for 12 minutes, and that is it. So it's done. Let's see a finish. Ooh, that looks mm, good. That looks really good. Woohoo, that looks good. Mm, mm, mm.
So while we have dinner cooking, this is a great appetizer if you have a family. Everyone likes this. Um, but the ingredients that I included sounds delicious. I didn't see many reviews, but let's start with the first one right here. <laughs> I mean, you can never go wrong with fish bites. No, you can't. The only thing is, I've never had cobia before. Yeah, have I. Mmm, that's really good. That lemon flavor. Yeah, like I mean, it's very comparable to dolphin. Yeah, it tastes very, a lot, yeah. a lot like dolphin to me. That is really, really good though. Dolphin. You can taste the lemon with it mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. But I think I might have messed up by using ketchup because. It's way too good to be eating it in ketchup. Maybe a little hot sauce and stuff. Yeah. But super cool day. Mm -hmm. I mean, typically when we're fishing those bait schools like that, we're mainly looking for sailfish. Mm -hmm. But we've definitely caught plenty of sailfish. And seeing that cuda get eaten in half was absolutely insane. And then the cobia was just a huge, huge bonus. It was. Our it was first, that cherry on top, right? Yeah, our first cobia ever. So that's why we were so excited. But once again, we appreciate you guys watching. With that, we're gonna get to eating. I hope you enjoyed our show and we will see you next time. Thank you guys. All right, bye. See ya.